poisons. The use of poisons is widespread. In some regions in both fresh and marine waters. Especially in coral reefs and coastal lagoon fisheries. The poisons kill other organisms also from the ecosystem, including the coral reef building organisms. Make sure that you do not pollute the seas. Remember, any material that harms or endangers the life forms or hampers their growth is considered to be a pollutant. And when we drop such materials in the seas, we are invariably polluting. Now let us see how we knowingly or unknowingly pollute the sea and how we can prevent it. Large quantities of diesel, petrol, kerosene and many such substances escapes to the sea while we repair our boats. The acid in the battery of the boats, paints used in the boat etc. are also pollutants. Fuel lost to sea while refueling. Any other substance that is carelessly thrown in the sea like plastic materials, tire or tube pieces, leftovers of boat repair etc. Do not throw unused or broken nets into the sea. This will cause fish to get caught in these and perish. Do not harm the coral reefs. Now let us talk about something equally important as the fish in the seas. Coral reefs. They are actually animals with plants living inside them. A coral structure is actually composed of thousands of these tiny animals growing together as a colony which make a coral. They are one of the Earth's most beautiful, ancient and complex ecosystems. They play an essential role in sustaining life in the sea. More than 25,000 species live in reef habitats and many are already in the list of endangered organisms. Reef formation is very slow, so we need to protect them and they also protect shoreline from erosion and damage. Therefore, it is imperative that we do everything to protect this marine and do nothing to harm them in any way. Pollution and overfishing are the most serious threats to these ecosystems. Physical damage from tourists, anchors dropped in coral beds, and ships colliding with reefs. Alteration of coastline, island habitats such as deforestation, coastal development and so on. So avoid all these practices in order to keep our nature beautiful and young for our children. Preserve Mangrove Forest There are instances when we fail to recognize the importance of certain individuals and only later when we fail to do things without their special skills, we wake up to the fact. Similarly, we underestimate the contribution that mangroves bring to our ecosystem. The part they play in breeding and preserving of marine life is vital for our sustenance as well. Mangrove protects shore from wave action and erosion 
during rough seasons. They provide more nutrients to the adjoining coastal waters so that they serve as a breeding and feeding ground for a variety of marine organisms including fishes. Mangrove area serves as an important fishing ground for the traditional fishermen who live side by side with mangrove environment. Mangrove plants serve as a source for new medicine development and formulation. Act as the nursery grounds for fish and other organisms. Spread the awareness of the importance of mangroves to all and encourage them to plant more mangroves. Make sure that you do nothing to harm this wonderful gift of nature so that we protect our future generations too. Co-management Co-management The system of government working together with fishing communities should be introduced and implemented wherever possible. You all have to come forward to form such management bodies to manage the resources yourselves for the future.